When I'm underwriting a small apartment complex, I like to look at it in a couple different ways. I look at the historical data of how it's performed, meaning, you know, how much money did it bring in, how much money were expenses, and I come up with that uh, NOI that exists in place. Like, what is the in-place net operating income? Then I can apply what a cap rate for that area and type of asset is and see kind of what is it worth today? What is the in-place value of this asset? Because that's the formula, right? It's NOI divided by cap equals value. Well, people really want to own multifamily assets now, small multis and larger multis. So usually that's not the, the price that gets paid is that in place actual price. Uh, so I also look at it a second price. Uh, so aspirationally, what could this deal be worth? If I'm not currently co collecting uh, market rents, what should rents be collected at? Uh, what should expenses be? What should aspirationally, if I manage to it, that NOI end up being, apply that cap rate and then see kind of that aspirational price. Uh, I don't want to buy an asset at the, the very kind of top of what it could be worth. So I get the opportunity to pay to do all of that stuff that the previous owner didn't do to achieve those higher returns. So that kind of forms my um, range that I'm willing to pay. I have the in place uh, what it's worth today. And then I have the aspirational, what we're managing towards. And then I know, you know, how much work, how much brain damage I'm willing to, to give up to reach that aspirational price. Uh, and I kind of pick somewhere in between. So I figure out what is my maximum price I would pay based on that range that I've established from doing the math that, that way. Uh, the more reps you'll do, the more underwriting you do of a property, the more you'll be able to trust your own judgment. This whole thing is there's no perfect thing, there's no perfect number, there's no perfect price, there's no teacher giving you a check mark on your homework. Uh, you're just figuring out based off of numbers, kind of a, what is reasonable enough for you to pay. So uh, get a bunch more reps in, in terms of underwriting, and you're going to trust your, more, your judgment more, and uh, you're going to make decisions that are reasonable.